Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to unbox this. So this is the BMW X6M and this is by Seiko and I bought this for I think yeah 349 rupees. I don't remember from which website I bought. It might be Toy Collectors India. No, I think it might be from Toys India. So it's been a long time since I bought this. I didn't you know I forgot about this totally. So I am just taking it out and unboxing it now. Okay, so but I bought this for 349 rupees not more than that. So let's unbox and see how this one looks. So, so far I'm loving the Seiko cars, you know, the quality is really nice. And detailings are really great, you know, especially for the price point. Okay, here it is. Let's just clean it up a little bit. As you know, these cars are very old. So I'm just trying to clean out the dust. Okay. So the initial impressions of this car, you know, this looks really beautiful, especially the lines on this car. Wow, this looks really nice, especially the paint job, you know, it's kind of a mild glittery blue and wow, that that looks really nice, especially in your hands. It looks really beautiful. And on the headlight part, it has some kind of acrylics for the headlights and you can see the grill, de grill details, which is embossed. And it is painted on top of it. I mean, you can see the fog lamps here. That is really nice. And uh, okay, so the tail lights on this one is painted, and it has some kind of, you know, this latch here. So I think there might be some other sets with, you know, you can latch it on and you know, like do a cargo hold, you know, like you do it in majorettes. Like you can see in this Lamborghini here. So I'm not sure because I don't own much uh, much Siku, you know, other stuffs. Okay, so this one also has a rear view mirrors, which is unique to this particular car. That one looks really nice. And this one also has openable doors. Again, I'm, I'm really not sure why Siku is not popular in India. I know there are Siku fan, fans out there. So some people wanted to unbox this very sooner, but since mini GTs and pop races are you know being the hot topic now so I started unboxing those so the logo placement is really nice so you can see a lot of dust here and some scratches on the paint job because you know it's been in the box for a very long time it seems the logo placement is really nice interior details are really nice okay so one thing about the Seiko cars are you know so so far we unboxed two cars this one is the third one so every car has the same rim but I don't mind about that, but some people might. So the rims are actually plastic and uh, the tires are rubber. So the entire body is metal and uh, <clears throat> the chassis is plastic, if you guys are wondering. So it does have a lot of good detail into it, you know, especially for th 349 rupees. So where other brands, you know, just hesitate to do this, especially the interior details, you know, this is unique to each and every car as well. I do have some scratches on the rear, you know, windshield. But I understand this being a very old car and it's been boxed for very long years. Okay, let's do a suspension test. That doesn't have any suspension. I guess in none of the Seiko cars have suspension, it seems. Okay, let's do a roll test. No, not at all. Okay, I guess you are not supposed to play with Seiko cars. It has a lot of wheel wobble to it. And it is not moving enough. The tires are actually having a lot of friction. Yeah, even in this mat, it, if you see, you know, it is not rolling. Okay, it is free rolling wheel only. Yeah, okay then. Okay, let me know about this car in comments. You know, not only this car in in general, any Seiko cars. What do you guys think about it? So that's it for today guys. If you like my video, hit the thumbs up button. If you love my video, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Goodbye.